What's up? I'm Jen. Today's episode is going to be about turtlenecks because I freaking love turtlenecks and I thought it would be fun to style them. And plus, these turtlenecks are cropped, super lightweight, and perfect for the spring that's about to come. So here are some ways that I style the cropped turtleneck. Alright, for the first look, we're starting out with this statement cape, but underneath that butte, I've got on this black and white striped turtleneck. It's an extra small because I've been really liking that really slim and tailored look, and I just think it's got a really timeless appeal. Over that, I've draped this tan cape. I love how it's double-breasted, so it's got a really European feel to it. It's made out of this really heavy, durable wool fabric, so it really keeps me warm on those breezy days. For bottoms, I'm wearing these really cozy, velour skinny pants that really transition super well with my Fridas. I swear, I feel like I'm wearing missiles on my feet when I'm wearing them, but I love every second of it. For my lip color, I decided on my go-to pale pink neutral shade, Creme Cup. Houndstooth is a funky pattern for spring and I find that wearing a neutral color like this black sleeveless crop top from American Apparel really just highlights and showcases this really ostentatious print and I think that Houndstooth is a really fun way to dress up for evening wear. There's something really classic and timeless about this print. I thought I would wear my pleather black skirt because I wanted to add a bit of edge to it and it's got these amazing laser cut detailing all around the trim. For my shoes, I'm wearing these ankle strap pumps and I finished off the look with a peachy pink shade and these gold triangle earrings from Forever 21. I sensed a really nautical vibe from this outfit because of this striped turtleneck. This one is from eBay, so I kind of consider that the equivalent of thrifting, but online thrifting, that counts, right? Anyway, I love pairing stripes with navy because it adds such a seaside color palette. For a jacket, I went for my drapey trench crop jacket from BB Dakota, and the material feels like a faux suede, but it's really lightweight, perfect for spring. And I added this gold belt from Goodwill that adds character to my favorite indigo skinnies from H&M. You've probably seen this a million times in my videos. I slipped into my chunky wedge suede heels because I felt like adding some height to my body, and you've probably seen this in my last haul. And for my lips, I decided for a sheer pinky lip, and I wrapped my hair into these messy milk made braids. This outfit totally reminds me of fall, and it's probably because of the color scheme of it. And this turtleneck is one of my favorites because it's acid wash. And because it's a cool tone, I wanted to pair it with this gray coat. It's made out of this really bizarre, fuzzy, almost hair-like material. But for some reason, I'm really drawn to it. I don't know why. And it adds a lot of weight to the jacket, so it made it the perfect winter coat. I paired it with this Augsblood pleather skirt, and it's got these awesome zipper details that give it a really rocker, chick feel. And these shoes are the toned down versions of my Helga's. I love the contrast of the white laces because it has a sneaker-like effect to it. And lastly, I decided on a vampy lip because sometimes you just feel like wearing a dark lip. So we've come to the last and final outfit. This one has got me all primed up and ready for the summer. I'm wearing the white version of the American Apparel crop turtleneck. Honestly, if I could get these in every color, I would. I thought it would look amazing with these overalls or dungarees. They've got this amazing brocade print that are made out of this very thin and breezy material, so I can totally see this being one of my summer statement looks. I went for a neutral wedge and for accessories, I grabbed these silver bands and separated them on my fingers. And then I went for Ravishing by MAC.
please comment down below and let me know how you style your own personal turtleneck or if there's a turtleneck that's on your wish list or something. I would love to read about it. Feel free to open the down bar to find the available links of the items featured in this video. On my Instagram, you can expect out for the days, little sneak peeks of, of videos, and just random stuff that I'm doing. I think that's it. I will talk to you guys in the next video and take care. Bye.